Okay, now we're going to talk about how to remove a print once it's complete. So, if you look at the bed, we've got our completed benchy part, which is going to be uh, your first printing assignment to print this little benchmark test. If you look at the info screen, uh, you can see that the, uh, the nozzle temperature has cooled down. It's set to zero and it's down at 27 degrees, which is just room temperature. And uh, the bed also is set to zero and it's down at 27 degrees. Uh, it's sent the X to zero and the Y to 220. So basically uh, the print head is back in this corner and it's happily presented you with your print. Now, if you've done it right, your print will be a little bit stuck uh, to the base uh, to the base of the print bed. And that's okay, that's, that's, uh, that's um, that's par for the course. So if you have a if you have a print like this, the nice thing is you can just kind of pop it off, right? And if your if your bed was nice and level at at the right height when you printed, uh, it should just pop right off. The next thing is uh, clearing off these these little bits, and you might be able to get in there with your fingernail. And if you can't get in there with your fingernail. The next thing to try is to grab your handy dandy uh, putty knife. Now be careful, these putty knives that they come with are very sharp, especially the corners. So you never, when you are scraping, uh, you never wanna scrape towards your hand. So I never would wanna put one hand here and scrape in that direction. Um, and also uh, you wanna be careful of your print bed. You can see I've, I've scraped up my print bed a little bit here and uh, that's not great for future prints. So I'm just gonna put it on a little flat here and kind of, yep, you can sort of get under it. And you can see I couldn't get it with my fingernails, but I was able to get it up. Uh, I was able to get it up um, with the putty knife. And the same thing for this last piece here. Uh, that one I can just get with my hands. So now you've got your nice bed. It's more or less clean and clear. And you've got your nice 3D print. Um, you'll notice there is one little loop-de-loop -loop on this print, and I think that's uh, maybe because of where I print, where I paused it. It's about where I was when I paused it, and I think there's just a little bit of a, a little bit of an artifact. I can just pull that off, or I can take my handy-dandy snips that the printer came with. Again, these are a little sharp and pokey, so be, be cautious with them. But I can come in there and just snip that off. And it's a little tricky because I got one hand on the camera, but uh, there's there's my final print. Okay, so I'd like to show you uh, how to get a print off the bed uh, when the print is very large and maybe uh, flat, so that it's very very stuck uh, stuck onto the bed. So with the other print, I just kind of got underneath it and popped it off. Uh, and I can get this, I can get this skirt off, no problem. But I'm having a really hard time getting underneath there. All right, and particularly if you remember, my printer bed has a, um, a high spot in the middle, so that in the middle it's a little, it's even more sort of squished down and stuck. And out near the edges, it might be a little bit higher up and a little bit less stuck, a little bit less adhered. So the trick for this is we're actually gonna take that bed, uh, the build plate off. So I'll just take off these little uh, binder clips. All right, and this whole build plate comes, comes right off. And the thing about the build plate is that it's a little bit flexible, if you look. And this works best if the print has already cooled down, cooled down completely. Don't do this while it's still warm or still hot. Let it cool for maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then you can see I can bend the build plate and the print starts to pop off. And once it starts to pop off, I can get my fingers underneath it and I can pop it right off. And there is our flat, our flat 3D print. Let's see if I can do the other side too. Yeah, I'm starting from the outside 
work my way around. Put it down if I want to. Now that I've got one side started, I can either get my fingers under it or get my putty knife under it. Again, being careful not, don't ever, as a reminder, don't ever hold and move the putty knife towards your hand because it's very sharp. You can cut your hand. So, get the putty knife underneath it and carefully, gently pry it up. And that one came off pretty well. Now, there's one little spot here where a little bit of the edge, a little bit of the edge uh, got stuck on the on the plate here. You can see there's just a little bit left, a little bit left on there. So I'll come in with my putty knife again, getting the sharp edge and holding here and pushing away from my hand. Just come in and just gently, carefully scrape that off trying not to scrape or scratch the build plate too much because that can damage your that can damage your ability for future prints to adhere. So I'll just get those last little bits. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I'll clean off all the bits. Now the key thing is once you have uh, done this and bent, bent this plate so much, when you put it back on, you probably are going to have to go through the bed leveling process again. So you can go back and watch the bed leveling video if you want. You're welcome to skip that step and try to print and maybe it'll work, but I'll tell you, you probably avoid a lot of headaches if you just go through the bed leveling again, or at least just check it um, to see if that's good. Uh, now when we put the binder clips back on, um, we we'll put it on, sort of put them on in the four corners, but this front one, I usually put, rather than putting it on the corner here where it might hit with the, um, the extruder when the extruder goes to zero, I just put it a couple inches over. So it's a little bit of the ways in. Um, I'll put those last two binder clips on the back. There they go, and here's my two, my two flat parts. Uh, if you can figure out what these are for, uh, shoot, you'll get a prize. Shoot me a, shoot me a direct message, and we'll give you a prize. All right, thanks everybody.